Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. I want to emphasize again in this video the importance of evaluating your child who's on the autism spectrum for Clostridia bacteria. Now, let me break it down a couple of different ways because there, there is some confusion in the community about what Clostridia is. There's a type of Clostridia called Clostridia difficile. Now, Clostridia difficile has been known for a long time to be a really bad bug. Um, it's becoming a, a worsening problem in the hospital setting because of the resistance to treatment and also the increased potential for cross-infection among patients. And Clostridia difficile at its core can lead to a, a, a serious inflammatory bowel condition called pseudomembranous colitis. So Clostridia difficile is sort of in its own category, but it's part of the Clostridia family. Now Clostridia difficile can also produce a toxin called 4-creosol. And 4-creosol actually will inhibit certain enzyme or N enzyme in the brain that can lead to a disruption of dopamine. So think of Clostridia difficile as its own, you know, own category of, of a bacteria that's really bad and certainly needs to be evaluated with anybody on the autism spectrum. Um, and the way that it's best analyzed is through the organic acid test from Great Plains Laboratory. You can also do the microbial organic acid test from Great Plains because the microbial organic acid test is looking specifically at the yeast and bacterial markers. Another marker called HPHPA comes from a group of other Clostridia. So you have to think of Clostridia as like a family. And none of them are good, but you've got certain members of that family which are really bad. HPHPA is identifying the presence of other types of Clostridia family members. Not Clostridia difficile, but other family members within the Clostridia family. And it too, just like the 4-creosol, will inhibit an enzyme that affects dopamine metabolism. And I'll talk in the next video about what are some of the implications of actually having high values of 4-creosol and high HPHPA with respect to you know, the, the autistic condition that uh, we so often see um, in, in anybody who is uh, dealing with clostridia, but certainly you know, any child on the, on the autism spectrum, teenager or adult who's having behavioral problems, learning problems, uh, the clostridia can be a really bad bug. Thanks.